Hi guys, this is Liz Kaneda from Sleek Lens. Today I have a tutorial on how to use the Starburst Photoshop overlays. So I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use these overlays to enhance the light rays or sun flares in your photographs. Um, I have a photograph pulled up, I'm just going to go ahead and start. Um, for this one I'm going to be using the Starburst number 12. And the best way to get your overlay into Photoshop is to just go to the folder that you have it stored in and drag and drop. And as you can see, this package comes with about 16 overlays and then it comes with 8 color overlays. So for this one I'm using number 12, so I'm just going to go to 12 and I'm just going to drag it right into the photo. Alright, so now that it's in the photograph, we can go ahead and resize it. So to resize it, you can basically pull down on any of these little boxes. If you want to keep the already locked in ratio here of this overlay, you just need to hold your shift key down and that way it'll keep the proportions the same. Alright, so I've got it sized about where I want it and I'm going to just basically put it here and I know it's hard to see right now where exactly it's going to be but in a minute we'll be able to move it around as well. So the next thing I'm going to do is to remove all this black here. Um, I'm going to go over to my drop down menu here where it says normal. Make sure you have your overlay selected. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit screen and that's going to go ahead and take the black away. So as you can see my overlay is not exactly in the right position so I'm going to go ahead and just move it over a little bit. So all the overlays that you have come in white aside from the colored ones so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to add color to the overlay because the white doesn't look as natural in this photograph. So make sure you have your overlay layer selected and then you're going to go up to your layers tab and you're going to choose the new adjustment layer and we're going for hue and saturation. Hit OK. So here you have your control box for the hue and saturation. The first thing you want to do is make sure you hit this button right here. Basically that means that it's going to apply the hue and saturation to the overlay or the layer beneath it. And then we're going to go ahead and check colorize. So right ahead it's already kind of selected a yellow color for me but I'm going to make it in between and do like a yellow orange and I'm going to turn the saturation up as well. So as you can see if I turn it all the way up it'll really cover, color the overlay. If I turn it down we have a little bit less color. So I'm going to keep it at around 50, 51. The next thing I'm going to do is just move my overlay just a little bit more. Alright and so that's it. So we've applied the overlay and we've gone ahead and colored it so here's what it looks like without it. So basically it just adds an extra element to your photograph, um, it adds a different style and just kind of gives it a nice polished look. So let's move on to another photograph now. I'm going to show you a different starburst overlay. So go ahead and open my overlays again. For this one I'm going to be using number 14. I'm going to drag that right into Photoshop and I'm going to go ahead and resize that. And then I'm going to go ahead and drag it in the general area that I want it. Going to my drop down menu here, I'm going to be picking a screen. And then I'm going to adjust my overlay again. Alright, so I've got my overlay layer selected. I'm going up to the top here. And I'm going to go ahead and choose the new adjustment layer, hue and saturation, hit OK. Remember to hit this so you're applying it to the layer below and colorize. And as you can see, you can really choose any color you want. Stylistically, it's up to you. But for the sake of being kind of natural in this color, I'm just going to go with a yellow color because I'm trying to mimic the sun here. And I'm just going to turn up the saturation a little bit. Alright, so here it is without the overlay and with the overlay. And actually, I'm going to move my overlay over just a little bit. Right there. All right. All right. So I've got a third photograph here. Now I'm going to show you the colored starbursts that come with this. So you can go ahead up to your colored folder here and choose one. I'm going to go ahead and choose this one, number five. So as you can see, number five is kind of a nice orange color. And I'm going to go ahead and resize it. And actually one thing I'm going to do now is if I hold my cursor right here you can see the kind of curved arrows 
I'm just going to rotate it a little bit because I want it on a different angle. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that where I want it. We're going to go ahead and hit screen again. And there we go. All right, so I don't have to go and add a new adjustment layer because this one's already colored and I chose this orange color, so it's what I want. If it's a little too strong, what you can do is use the opacity of that layer and just bring it down a little bit. All right, so here it is without the overlay and here we have the overlay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to use the Starburst Photoshop overlays and you'll be able to try it out for yourself soon.